Carry your speed. It's getting worse. I'm barely hanging on. I can't catch my breath. All I can think about is if I'll be fast enough to save another life. Flash is losing his speed. Drain him of the rest. Nash is taking control of his pain. No. You can't feed off of him anymore. No. It's over, Thon. No. Satellite scans say there are no traces of Thon's negative tachyons to be found in any organic matter on the planet. As for Nash, says he'll confirm that she didn't feel any of Thon's energy inside him. Well, according to three-dimensional imaging, Nash's brain waves are Thon-free. I guess this means Star Labs has successfully completed its very first exorcism. Thon's gone, for now. Right. Thon's tachyons might have dissipated, but they weren't destroyed. Which means he's not dead. Just formless. He's probably out there looking for another body right now. Like a red-eyed, pissed-off Voldemort. If he comes back, we'll be ready. I'm gonna go check on Nash. Are you, uh, you guys make up yet? Mm-hmm. Thank God. Guys, are we sure creating an artificial speed force is the way to go? I mean, anyone who came in contact with Thon's speed force got hurt. Ours will be different. Yeah, but we still don't even know where to start. Actually, I do. Every time Thon tried to hurt me using Nora's memory, really what he did was reminded me how much I loved her. It made me realize that she's the answer. Nora's journal? Thon taught Nora how to build a speed force. Now she can teach us. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my Flash Season 6, Episode 16 trailer video and explainer for what was going on with Barry creating the new Speed Force, Reverse Flash. So we'll break it all down. There's a whole bunch of Easter eggs from Episode 15, too. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We're doing a new Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave your biggest theory about what's going to happen with this new Speed Force on the video. What could possibly go wrong? Barry creating his own Speed Force. You also probably saw the announcement Stephen Amell made on his Instagram live stream that he was never coming back to the Arrowverse. He said he never crossed over to any of the other shows or guest star anymore. He said, nope, I'm done with that. Everyone post all your Spongebob memes because that's exactly what he just did. They also just changed the schedule for the Flash episodes because of all the craziness with the virus and the quarantines that are going on right now. They had to stop production, hard stop, so they might not even finish the rest of the season on the Flash, but we'll find out more about that pretty soon. So we'll just start with the episode 15, Big Easter Eggs, and then I'll talk about the episode 16 footage. The Exorcism of Nash Wells. Everyone wondering, what's the deal with the Reverse Flash? Why wasn't he around during Crisis on Infinite Earths? How did he come back this time? And what's happening with him next? Thankfully, they did not fridge him as a character in the episode. He's still out there, like Barry and Sisko say, his energy just looking for another body to inhabit. The really cool thing that I'm glad that they did, they're actually being accurate to the comics when they're talking about this, because when speedsters die, technically, they don't die like regular people. Normally, they become pure speed force energy and just return to the speed force. Like before the speed force died because Barry poisoned it with the specter energy, Earth-90 Barry Allen sacrifices himself during Crisis on Infinite Earths, seemingly turns into nothingness. His body was actually just becoming pure speed force. So had the speed force not been poisoned, you could actually go into the speed force and talk to his consciousness. Because Reverse Flash relies on the negative speed force, it's the same idea, it's just that his body would just go into the negative speed force once he died, once he lost his physical form. So he's just floating around the negative speed force looking for someone else to attach himself to. I don't know if he's going to inhabit another version of Wells and they're going to keep it as Tom Cavanaugh or they're going to use this as an opportunity to have him inhabit someone else's body and introduce a new looking version of Reverse Flash. 
They kind of did that with Earth Prime, like we have the new version of Mirror Master, Cisco's brand new Pokedex of all the different villains that have been changed since Crisis on Infinite Earths. Some of them look very different. Some of them are kind of the same, though. But the episode was mostly about explaining what's going on with the alternate version of the Wells from the multiverse inside Nash Wells head. So the idea is, is that they'll continue to exist. They're just bound to him because of what happened with them rebooting the universe during Crisis on Infinite Earths. They also give you Nashwell's backstory and how he met Allegra's doppelganger and kind of adopted her as his surrogate daughter. He's kind of like a cross between Nathan Drake from Uncharted and Indiana Jones, just searching for artifacts all over the multiverse, except he's hunting for artifacts that mostly seem like they're referencing the new gods, Darkseid, and the Monitor from the look of those symbols. I don't know if they have any plans to use any New Gods related characters because there's a big New Gods DC movie that's going to happen in a couple years. By the time that movie happens, The Flash might be off the air, so it might be a non-issue. But The Flash right now is kind of like All Might from My Hero Academia, slowly losing his power. They're going to use Nora's original journal from before her timeline was wiped to create a new alternate version of the Speed Force. Remember, the reason why her journal survived is because it's written in a language that's impervious to changes to the timeline. So they're going to use the same techniques that she used to enter the negative Speed Force and study the Speed Force with Reverse Flash's help. So they're kind of going off of Reverse Flash's notes, in a sense, or the things that he taught to Nora. There's a lot of Flash Rebirth comic book storyline going on here on the TV show from the Force Quest storyline recently, so I'm hoping, on par with that, it will lead to Barry going Super Saiyan Flash. No joke, they actually dropped a legit Dragon Ball Z reference during the Flash comic book recently, and it was all about Barry just sort of sucking up all of the Speed Force because of the different numbers of forces that had been revealed when they broke this quote-unquote barrier Whatever the TV show does with that, it's going to be a little bit different from the comics, so I don't know if they're going to do all the different forces from the comics, but I do think that they're headed for Barry slowly losing his power. Like the trailer for next week's episode, the title is actually So Long and Good Night. The title of that episode is a reference to Barry losing the last of his Speed Force energy in his body. It's kind of like All Might losing the last embers of One for All after going United States of Smash. So bringing it back around to Super Saiyans, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super references, every time Goku achieves a new level of power, it's usually right after he almost dies or seemingly dies. Really good example is during the Tournament of Power, Dragon Ball Super, he fought Jiren, seemingly died after he created a spirit bomb. His energy disappeared, everyone thought that he'd been obliterated, but really just turns out that he'd absorbed the energy from his spirit bomb and used it to temporarily go Ultra Instinct for the first time. So think of the Flash as being on the path to going Ultra Instinct Flash, but only temporarily. The next episode isn't going to air till April 7th. That's because of all the virus and the quarantining. I think it's just taking them longer to get the episode out. And then there's no new episodes after that indefinitely until everybody goes back to work. I think we'll hear more about that in the next couple of weeks. The footage of Ragdoll coming for Joe West is all about the Black Hole storyline. Black Hole orders a hit on Joe West. The deal with Mirror Master is that she's still trying to escape the Mirror Dimension, even though for some reason she can send other things through the Mirror, she herself seems like she's trapped inside the Mirror Dimension, and she's using all these devices from the real world, bringing them back in so that she can escape. My assumption based on the footage with her wanting to drain the last of the Flash's Speed Force energy just has something to do with her escaping the Mirror Dimension and preventing him from stopping her. But I think it's all in service of giving her more backstory so that when they pay off, they have this big final battle, it's a little more meaningful. You didn't get too much backstory with the Sam Scudder Mirror Master. And as for Stephen Amell's comments about never coming back, he could just be bargaining with the network like, you know what, if you want me to come back, you're going to have to pay me a ton of extra money to come back. But we'll see. I was just really surprised by the way he was so frank about it. Like, nope, I'm done. I think I did that for eight years. I'm good. No more. Peace. I'm out of here. But what'll happen is, is because everything kind of shut down for the next couple of weeks in Hollywood, TVs and movies, because of the quarantine and all the craziness with the virus, I'll post more updates when we get more information about what's going to happen next. Some people will still be airing episodes of TV, some stuff will be on break, so I'll just post updates based on the videos that I do. So as long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you'll see all those videos when I post them. But if you have any big questions or big theories, just post them on the video. Reminder, next episode of The Flash comes April 7th, then after that they might have another break, but they've already filmed up to episode 18 or 19, so they do have more episodes that they can just finish in post-production and air, but there might be one or two episodes that they have to cut off. We probably won't find out about that for a while. 
everyone click here for my new Spider-Man 3 Marvel video and learn about the Marvel Netflix characters coming back and click here for my video about all the canceled and delayed movies. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.